right now I'm in the town of Sremska Mitrovica. It's located about one hour east of Beograd on the way to Croatia. And here was located one of the most important imperial palaces of the Roman Empire during the third and fourth century. It was called Sirmium. Today we're gonna explore some of the Roman ruins and visit the museum of Srem. Follow me. This was a tombstone. Well, it was found on the grave and we think because it is a standard that the rich people made that kind of tombstones so when their family dies and there's nobody else to visit the grave, anybody will visit just to see what time it is. Here we have a third century sarcophagus and they think it was of a nobleman because he has nice clothing and a pen in his hand. It's pretty amazing. Here we have a 5th century Christian Basilica dedicated to Saint Demetrius. Here we have the Imperial Palace Complex. It dates back to the late 3rd, early 4th century and this is one of the most impressive finds in Syria. It's pretty giant but right now we only see a piece of it but in the old days it made up about 15% of the city. What you can see today are some of the mosaics, the heating system, and some of the walls of the palace. We are now in Viminacium. This was a Roman military camp to the 7th Claudian Legion. And right here I have my friend and guide Lubomir and he's an archaeologist and a Roman fanatic. Tell me a little bit about what we're about to see today. Inside is the main entrance to the camp of the 7th Claudian Legion. This camp was home to 6,000 legionnaires who were the best soldiers in the period of antiquity. Standing on one of the roads that would access the base. In this direction was the Danube River which was the border of the Roman Empire and then across from it were barbarians. Over here we have another road that access the base. Behind me we have the thermal baths. Here they had cold and hot water pools and this was a place to socialize. Not just, you know, get clean, but to do business and interact with friends. So right here we have some of the original tiles. You see? This is the Roman mausoleum, which is a part of the Roman necropolis of Viminatium. It was used between 2nd and 4th century AD. This site is quite interesting because you have this quite large tomb. There are a lot of graves were excavated here and there were a lot of finds. We're about to walk into the imperial palace of Felix Romuliana. in the central courtyard. This is the most photographed and iconic image of the site. The white marble that we see is all reconstruction. The only original is the gray and pinkish areas. Also, the pillars are all reconstructed except these two. The top layers are original. And behind us we have the dining hall and that is where they found the mosaic of Dionysus. These two columns that you see behind me are authentic. And right behind us, we have the Stibadium, which is basically VIP room. It was a place for intimate gatherings. This is a podium or a base to the pagan temple. They don't know to which god it was dedicated to, but this is what's left of it. And right here, we have the sacrificial altar, and it was located right in front of the temple. Behind me, we have three very important structures. To my right, we have the east gate, which was the main gate to the palace. Right behind me, we have the public baths, which anybody in the city could use. And over here to the left, we have the temple of Jupiter. After a half hour drive from Leskovac city, 
we have finally arrived here at Empress Town, or Justiniana Prima. I'm here with Nebo, my official tour guide, and he is the only English-speaking guide for this park. Now, Nebo, tell me a little bit about the archaeological site and what we're seeing right here behind us. David, welcome to Stiniana Prima, or in Serbian Tsari Chingrat, the birthplace of the last uh, real Roman Emperor, uh, Justinian, who was uh, from uh, this area and who built this city to commemorate his uh, birthplace. This city was built in uh, 6th century AD. They started building it in 535 and it was short-lived. It uh, lasted only for 80 years and people left it in 614. Actually the Slavs, uh, the Slavs uh, and other um, uh, Avars and other barbaric people came from the north. People were scared and they left for Thessaloniki. This is the Roman Therma, where the Romans would socialize and clean themselves. And right here, we have where the hot pool was. Over there at the far end is where the oven was. The hot air would blow through these columns and heat up the floor. Basically, this was a subfloor heating system. The eastern gate, and this gate uh, leads you to the lower city of the citadel. Let's go. We are here now where the ordinary people lived, the ordinary houses. Uh, they called insula in the Latin, and it means cube. It was literally the cube with one or with uh, one ground floor, one upper floor, or more. And in the down floor, people would have magazines or repair shops. And on the on the first floor and the second floor, they would uh, they would live. Right here, we have the main street. Behind us, we have workshops, a gutter, and over there at the far end we had a main square. We are standing now in the Episcopal Church. All around us are the buildings that are connected with it. Episcopal Palace, Baptisterium, where they baptize the people. So this is the main part of the city, Acropolis. 